Connect the audio cable shipped with your MIDAC product as shown for the audio loopback test. For this test, I will use the arbitrary waveform generator to generate distinct uh, or obviously distinct signals on both the left and right audio channels. I'm going to set up a 50 kilosample per second signal, 10 millisecond period, so you can set the duration to 10 milliseconds if necessary. Let's use sign for the left channel. Save that away on the desktop, probably a convenient place. For the right side, let's give something that looks completely different than sign. Let's see what pulse looks like. Now that'll be a pretty good shape. And I'll save that away for use on the right channel. So I'll load up the two files and associate them with the audio outputs. So we have left and right specified. You need to manually set this value to match what you specified in the waveform editor. Let's enable both channels and run the arbitrary waveform generator. And at this point we are generating the wave shapes that are indicated there on the audio output. We can then use the oscilloscope to observe the audio inputs. Let's look at the audio input left channel and right channel. And there we have it. The left channel is in green and the right channel is in blue. You see the left channel a little bit more clearly there. That's the right channel by itself. And again, both channels. If you like, you can invoke edge triggering to stabilize the display. All right, this is the connection you can use to observe the left channel being generated on the tip of the stereo plug and the ground is on the so-called sleeve. So I'm still generating the same uh, sinusoid on left channel, pulse shape on the right channel. But now I'm switching the scope to the analog input number zero. So we're observing the signal that's being developed on the tip of the 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. Now I've moved it to the what we call the ring, that's that middle section of the plug. This is the right channel. So it's disconnected and then moved it to the ring and there we observe the pulse.